running Joe Smalley, your TQ, off to a good start. Cautious in the corner and then loses his lead. Jimmy Barnett taking it two turns into this race. Here comes Joe through the whoops, much quicker. Shuffler upside down, Nick driving over it. Here we go, it's all straightened out. So back to the top of the pack here. Jimmy Barnett was leading, Joe Smalley making a nice pass on the outside, going through the whoops much faster than Jimmy on the inside. Jimmy taking an outside line. Joe not taking the berm for fear that Jimmy would go inside. Jimmy trying to jump over him, doesn't make it stick. But still all over the back door of Joe, and then Joe crashes out. Jimmy Barnett going short on the tabletop, but just enough to get him back in the lead. Joe Smalley's got that whoop section dialed. Jimmy needs to pick it up through there. That's where Joe's going to make up all his time. Looks like uh, Team Hobby Slop in the third spot, making up a little bit of ground on the top two. Jimmy by the line with a 21.2, 21 flat for Joe Smalley, the Brondo posse. Jimmy needs to hold him off for three and a half more minutes. It's probably going to be the longest three and a half minutes of Jimmy's life. Brondo wants the points. Jimmy Barnett playing the spoiler, not on a team. But there is no school tomorrow, so his mom and dad let him come out tonight and play. Twenty point seven for Barnett, twenty point six for Joe Smalley. Jimmy rolling it over. That's gonna put Joe back up into the top spot. Let's see if Jimmy can make it up. Joe has ice water running through his veins. Nothing rattles him. Casper now up into the third spot. Two thirty down, two thirty to go for Joe Smalley, Jimmy Barnett, and Team Hobby Slop rolling it over. Here comes Matt. Team Losi taking over that spot now. Looks like Casper dropping down to the fourth spot. Right behind his teammate, Team Losey rules. Casper letting him have it because he knows he's in the points and Casper's not in this one. I see how you Losey guys roll. Looks like Nick all over the back door of Smalley now, unfortunately being lapped. Jimmy Barnett rolling it on the step down. That's going to give Joe a lot more breathing room. Let's see if Nick has anything for Joe, and the answer is no. Jimmy getting through that whip section nice and fast, but with one and a half, or one minute, 30 seconds to go, or one and a half minutes, or as they say in Europe, 90 seconds. I don't know if that is enough time for Jimmy to make it up. Joe needs to have a bobble here. Fifty seconds to go in this one. Looks like Jimmy making up a little bit of ground. Whoa! Gunning it through those whoops. Nick lets Jimmy by because if Jimmy gets ahead of Joe, that means one less point for Joe and one more point for Nick. Oh, and Jimmy rolls it over. Then Nick rolls it over. Whoa, Brad, be careful. Thirty seconds to go. Great seven. Twenty seconds to go for Smalley. Over the tabletop, crossing the start finish line now is your leader. Twenty one point one.
All right, guys, that is time on the master clock. When you cross the start finish line, you will be done. Everybody on their last lap. Looks like the Brondo Posse taking home 100 points tonight in that run. I'm not quite sure how Brad did in his run. But I'm sure it was pretty good. Jimmy Barnett in the second spot, finishing six seconds behind Smalley. Team Losi rules in the third. Mick Nixty in the fourth. Looks like Casper going to finish up in the fifth spot. And Team Hobby Slop never finished the race. Colby Poe neither. All right, guys, if you got a transponder, hand it back, please. Head on out to the track and turn, Marshall. Race number seven, you got the track.